What's up, wonderful, amazing, sweet, and lovely people? How are you all doing today? We hope you all have an amazing day today, and we hope you let some rest your joy. <laughs> Zebu's birthday is tomorrow. And Zozo's feeling. Zozo, are you feeling like a queen? Yes. Are you a queen? Yes. Zozo, are you excited for your birthday tomorrow? Yes. Oh my goodness. Zozo, what are you looking forward to tomorrow? What are you most looking forward to tomorrow? Do you have anything you want tomorrow? No, no. What is my flashlight? That's your flashlight? You want your flashlight? Yeah. Good. So, Zozo, how does it feel to be three years old? I want the red flashlight. You want a red flashlight? Zozo, you said all kinds of things that you want for your birthday. So, Zozo, what do you want to eat for your birthday? Cake. Sprinkled cake. So that we already got the cake. Where did we buy the cake from? <laughs> we got to buy it at Walmart. Walmart. So that did you pick your cake out? Yeah. Do you like picking out your cake? Yes. Good. So, so how old will you be tomorrow? So, so no. how old will you be tomorrow? No, it's a picky bit. It's a picky bit. So, so how old will you be tomorrow? How old are you? Say, I am three years old. I am three years old. Oh my goodness, Zozo. Look at you, big girl. Zozo, I'm so happy. <laughs> so proud of you. Yeah. Zozo, mm -hmm. you're three. I remember when I had Zozo, you guys. It was quite eventful. It was on the 19th of April, right? I thought that I was in labor after eating some spicy Zaxby's. And Zozo loves Zaxby's too. So, um, went to the hospital. And they sent me back home. They said I was not in labor. Only a few hours later, my mucus plug came out and I went into active labor right at the house. And then we went to the hospital and Zozo came out 15 minutes after they put me on the bed. Zoop. She was ready. Zozo, were you ready? Yes. You were ready on April 20th, you guys, at 6.30. So, yeah. That's my girl. Zozo is so smart, so amazing. Zozo, are you smart? Yes. Are you amazing? Zozo, you're smart and amazing, and Mama loves you. Do you love your Mama? Yes. Good. Zozo, I love you too. You are the most amazing baby in the world. Do you know that? Mama loves you so much. You're my blessing. It's Zozo is watching Squigglet, you guys. Sorry about the noise in the background, but we have sweet babies like this. Squigglet. Come on, come on. Come on. Get squiggling letters. This is watching squigglet, you guys, but I'm very happy. You know, I'm very happy, my sweet girl. Zozo, Zozo, Zozo does something these days. Come Like, Zozo, why do you do that to mama? Would you like to help me squiggle some letters? It's my girl, y'all. I'm so proud of my child. B, C. You guys watch the TV with us. But I'm super grateful, you know, super thankful. And she has a cake. We just what we need next is to get um some oxtail. So you wanna eat oxtail for your birthday? No. So gonna eat oxtail for our birthday. What do you want? You don't want oxtail anymore? What? Mama, I want a rainbow lollipop. You want a rainbow lollipop? Mama already gave you a lollipop. I already gave her a lollipop, so she's not getting any more lollipops. But anyways, you guys, that's it. Zozo is three. That's my big girl. Wow. It's been three sweet years with my amazing Zozo. Let me get back to my office for a second. What's up, everybody? Hope you guys are doing good. I'm watching Squiggly. You're watching Squiggly? Squiggle it, okay. There's my sweet birthday girl. She is watching Squiggle it. So, you guys, so those birthdays tomorrow. God is good, and I am grateful. God is faithful. So, I want to make Sozo some M&M cookies. We already bought her cake, all right? We need the number uh, three, I said one. I don't have a one-year-old. I only have three years old and, and, um, and a five-year-old almost. So, 
man is so amazing just to even think about it so do you want some rainbow lollipops yes so so we don't have rainbow lollipops i want to make myself hot chocolate So no, it's not you. Hot chocolate is the best. It's amazing. Ew. <laughs> no. Are you serious? Are you serious saying ew? Now hmm? what's a dog? There's my sweet girl. Uh -oh. oh no. What cake? Yep, we have your cake over there. We just need to do we still need to decorate Zolo's cake a little bit, but Zozo, um, Zozo wants a lollipop. Zozo, you've been having lollipops, eating lollipops a lot, and Mama doesn't, I don't like that. I do not like that you want lollipop every second. So Mama's gonna give you this one. Oh. Here you go. A yellow lollipop. Mm-hmm. So is the queen of candy. If you don't give Zozo a candy, Zozo is gonna fight for it. So, anyways, yeah, super grateful. You know, that my baby is turning three. God has been good. Every time there's something to celebrate, you have to count your blessings. So, I'm counting my blessings. In fact, in the meantime, let me kiss my dream kitchen. Mwah, 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 mwah. Three kisses, four more. Mwah, 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 mwah. Four more. If you want a life that you really like, you got to kiss it before it manifests. I was just kissing my dream kitchen. Some of you guys remind me you're crazy. Yes, because crazy people make things happen. <laughs> but yeah, I'm super excited. Um, so those birthdays tomorrow. Wow. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I am thankful to God for Zozo. Zozo is very smart, healthy, strong, amazing, loud, crazy, opinionated beautiful strong confident and awesome and i absolutely love my sweet baby girl and, and i'm making me hot chocolate awesome <sighs> so amazing god is good bless this hot chocolate in jesus name mm. it says do not worry do not worry be happy. That's a great mantra, you guys. Things will always happen that want you to worry. And that's it. That's the nature of our human our human nature is to worry about stuff. Even stuff that we don't have to worry about. We just want to keep worrying. We're so used to drama. Humanity is used to drama. When you make a decision that you're going to live differently, you know what I mean? A lot of forces rise against you. But when you stand strong to it, because you being at peace and keeping your peace, even in a time of... of um, of chaos or crisis that is you letting yourself your lower self which is your flesh your ego know that there is somebody who's in control and that is the soul because you are a soul you are amazing you're just here for a brief period to grow to expand to experience life and then you go back to where you came from which is forever every day i'm living my life with that realization that god is in control no matter what and I just have my peace. Like, your life is not dependent on how people react or do anything, you know, towards you or, you know what I mean? So you just gotta stay focused on that peace, which surpasses all understanding that comes from within and let God take care of you because you're amazing. And every good thing that you desire is possible. God's got you and I know God's got me. So before I used to worry about stupid stuff, but now I don't. You know, it's not like the thoughts don't creep in to have me worry, but I say, no, I know your secret. You want me to worry, but I refuse to worry because God cannot be worried or disturbed by circumstances or situation. God is God. It's either you believe and trust that God is for you or you allow yourself to, to deviate from, from who God is, peace, love, joy, abundance, and everything good that satisfies and allow your mind to get you on the path that leads to destruction. So me, I am intentionally placing my mind on the path that leads to love, to joy, to amazingness. That's why I'm looking fresh. <laughs> I'm looking fresh because I don't allow anything to steal my joy. And I want you guys not to allow anything to steal your joy, okay? 
God is for you. Everything, no matter how difficult the situation is, it is not impossible with God. The reason why you know of God is because God transcends your circumstances and is greater than whatever it is you're going through. It doesn't matter who's told you it's impossible or, oh my gosh, that's not possible. You know, people who have given up on their dreams and don't believe that something good can happen to them, they see life and everything that way. And they are looking for people whom they can convince nothing good can come out of. Now, don't allow yourself to be convinced by those who have given up that you can't make it. Because you can. It doesn't matter what it is you want. There is somebody out there who, who has that thing that you aspire to be like, right? The fact that somebody else has it means that you can have it too. And there is no shortage of good. Good is always here. God is an abundant God. And just keep your eyes on God no matter what. He is truly your provider and your helper. When you trust in the Lord and know that God's resources can never be used up, even in the midst of chaos, and even in the midst of the pandemic, once your eyes are fixed on the source, which is God, everything works out for you. All right? And this was a short, inspirational moment to express to you guys how I've been living my life. Now I want to continue to live my life. No time to prove any anything to anybody. It's a waste of time living your life to prove. Because if you live your life trying to prove people wrong or right, you're not really living. You're living in reaction to what people think of you or what they expect of you. But that's not real living, actually. Real living is intentionally creating the life that you want in spite of who doesn't want you to have it or not. Just remove that thought out of your mind and start thinking about what you want for yourself. And go for it. And that's what I'm doing intentionally. And also read books and materials that help you keep your mind focused on the good that you want. Stop wasting your time on things that don't matter. On, on what could happen or what could go wrong. See, by mere focusing on what could go wrong and trying to do things in reaction to what could go wrong. You're not leaving. You're living in reaction. You're truly not living life. But when you live life thinking about all the good that you want and you focus on the good that you want, you keep moving towards it like I'm doing, like I'm making sure I'm doing because my mind wants to wants to go to drama, wants to be upset or wants to think about what this, what that. But now I say, no, baby. I realize that I'm the creator of my destiny. My life today is what I thought of yesterday. So my life moves in the direction of my focus. So why not focus on the things that I want? Not what anybody wants for me what I want and I want you guys to do the same okay so on this special day that my daughter turns three I have learned a lot I mean her birthday is actually tomorrow so yeah I've learned a lot I've grown in the last year I've really grown some of the things that I was that was subconscious to me that was just like hidden deep down have exposed and I keep exposing because I want to create consciously I want to live my life consciously and be happy not because somebody's watching me or somebody wants me to be happy. Happy because that's my natural state of being, all right? Okay, I got to go now before the customers start getting upset with me and angry. I will see you guys later and thank you for joining us and for being a part of our world. Look out for Zozo's birthday vlog. The whole house has birthday, birthday, birthday. Happy birthday. I've been celebrating them all month long. And this is Zozo's birthday finally tomorrow. Lev is coming up in two weeks. What? It's gonna be great, you guys. Love you guys. Subscribe, like, share and be a part of my world say hi to the birthday girl one more time before i i go back to working zozo say thank you for watching wish me happy birthday wish me happy birthday bye bye